In the name of Almighty Allah, who is the most merciful and compassionate, uh, who is the master of all masters and king of all kings. I would like to welcome you all once again to another tutorial lecture on the subject of business law. I'm Safiullah Shinwari, one of the lecturers of Salam University, Faculty of Economics. So uh, let me remind you students that this is going to be our 21st lecture uh, in relation to the subject of business law. So uh, the topic which is going to be explained around this lecture, that's the law of partnership. So we're going to have uh, a detailed discussion about partnership, types of partnership, uh, partnership deeds, and we will we'll discuss, you know, uh, partnership in, in details. So uh, let's, you know, first define partnership and uh, see what is the meaning of the word partnership. According to Partnership Act 1932, section number three, uh, a partnership is a voluntary association of two or more persons. So whenever two or more persons, they come together and all of them, you know, by their own consent and by their own uh, will, yani ba mawfiqe tamam shan gas ya yak businessa shuru me kana wa do business har sharkat ko ninda kas paisa ya property time was skill khuda kas ura ba business me ta and they are sharing profit and loss for the business in case if the business is earning money so it will be shared uh, among the partners based on their investment but if there is you no know, loss in the business so still the loss will be uh, you know uh, divided on partners based on their investment yani ban daze ki nuksan mesha un nuksan taqsim mesha balai sarmaye zya ki che qadar yak nafar sarmaye guzari karda so uh, different organizations have you know different uh, definitions about the word partnership USA Partnership Law Act 1907 defined partnership as an association of two or more persons who carry on uh, as co-owners of a business for profits. So in the definition, you can see that, you know, still it has same, same meanings that there is a, a business which is, uh, you know, created by partners and it has co-owners. It means all the partners, they are the owners of the business. On the other hand, Professor Haney defines partnership uh, as the relation existing between persons to make contracts who agrees to carry on a lawful business with view to earn profit. So still, you know, it has like uh, same meaning as above two definitions. Whenever few persons, they are entering into a contract and they want to begin, you know, a lawful business uh, and they want to start a business with the view to earn profit is considered to be a partnership type of business so whenever uh, we are forming a partnership or creating a partnership type of business there are some characteristics which should be taken into account uh, legal entity a partnership has no separate legal entity apart from its members the rights and liabilities of the firm are considered the rights and liabilities of the partners yani business ke aagaz mein sha wo bad ek legal entity ba sha yani sir ek yag yag business ba sha ke wo bad legal ba sha qism ke tamam mafadat e business ba afraad wa ashqaas ke do involve us ba wa mia ya da aini waqt agar business ko dam mushkil paida me kana ya ko dam nuksan me ba sha ya ko dam mauzu e illegal budan ba sha they hum ke as partners shamil me ba sha if any of the partner dies, retires, or become insane, the partnership agreement comes to an end. Uh, suppose there are, you know, ten uh, partners. Like in zamani ke partners yag nafar memora ya retire mesha ya istan ke kudam mushkil barish khalak mesha. Agreement agreement kya aslan i khatam mesha. Agar the diga diga partner ay ke memora da business. Agar wo dig dubara da bain khud partnership me kona me khaya ke business dubara establish kona. They can. The second characteristic is agreement. A partnership begins uh, with the agreement. Whenever the partners they come together and they enter into a contract in agreement with each other, so uh, this agreement might be you know in the oral form or might be in written form. But we always insist the point that the business uh, contracts uh, should be in written form. It will just you know uh, be easier for all the partners. Uh, in case of violation, uh, 
uh, they can enforce the issue at law. Only the persons who are competent to the contract can form a partnership. So whenever the partners, uh, they are entering into, into a contract, so the word competency is really important. It means those who have the capacity to contract, they will enter. Those who do not have the capacity to contract, so they cannot enter into a contract of partnership. Third is number of partners. So this is also a very important issue. So mostly the business books uh, suggest that in a partnership, uh, there might be at least two persons to form a partnership or around 20 persons when they come together. So they can create uh, a business and they can be partners in that business. Point number four, that's sharing of profit and loss. As we all know that businesses have a nature that sometimes it will result in profit and sometimes it will result in loss. So there should be like uh, a sharing system whenever the business is earning. So the earning should be distributed among the partners according to their investment. And also if the business is resulting in lost, so the lost even should be distributed among the partners according to their investment. Fifth characteristics of partnership is capital. So which is really important because uh, uh, money is just considered to be like a blood for the business. So generally, the capital of the firm is supplied by all partners. Those who are entering to the partnership business, uh, they have to just invest and they bring the capital in order to begin the business. Important, you know, for uh, the partners to uh, bring the capital and begin a business. A person without contributing any capital may become a partner on the basis of his ability, education and experience. Sometimes it's possible that some of the partnership members uh, may not invest money but they will bring their abilities their education and skills into experience and they will just invest their abilities education and experience for uh, the sake of the business uh, which may result in profit for the business okay so whenever we want to test a partnership that whether it is a partnership or not so there are some criterias based on these criterias we can test a partnership the first there must be an agreement among the persons to be held as partners. Whenever the partnership formation happens, so there should be an agreement. This is the base and this is the foundation based on what we can test that there is a partnership between partners. The agreement must be to share the profit and loss of the business. So there should be an agreement for sharing profit and loss. Uh, number three, there must be an agreement to carry on the business by all or any of them acting for all. Uh, the partnership was more and more works on a partner zam darin lekin ni baid malum shawa ki kudam partners kes uh, business apesh me bara wa kudam partners kes uh, wa shayad actively the business role na dashta basha the agreement must be for doing some legal business so uh, in the definition of the business we always you know suggest this and we always uh, define the business that it's uh, a legal uh, you know activity under the state law so whenever you are opening a business you have to register that, you know, uh, with the with the state, with the law of the state where you do the business. So it should be legal. Your business shouldn't be illegal. Now let's come uh, to some of the important terms uh, which we can come across uh, mostly in partnership. The first one, partner, firm, in firm's name. So what these words actually mean uh, in the partnership. So partnership, partner, 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 uh, the business saham me gira wa u kyas misal nazar ba mu investment khud kyas profit and loss ba dis mera ura ma metanim ke yak shirkan ko ninda ya mashare kiya partner bo game firm means zamane ke firm aslan ek company ra mega ya ke dara ra mega zamane ke chand din partner ba ham dega mya ya wa yak jai business se shuru me ke na enemy yak jai budane ja kyas yak firm ya ek company ya yak shirka da baujood mera first name the name of the firm is very important uh, because you know under that they are going to have their business. The partner can choose any name for the firm according to the section 58 which says the name of the firm must not be identical or similar to the name of existing firm. Whenever you are going to register your business under a name uh, with the uh, law so you should consider some points. Your business shouldn't have the same name as uh, there is another business by that name. In your name uh, should not be insulting people. Your name, you know, should be a legal name. 
So these are the things that we have to consider in the partnership. Now let's discuss kinds of partners. As I said before, that we can have you know different uh, partners in business. The following are some kinds of partners according to liability, participation in management, in profit. So uh, the first one that's uh, active partner, ya uh, partner ya mushareke faal. We can also call for active uh, partner like a working partner, and the person who actively participate in the management uh, activities of the business is considered to be called active partner. Uh, and such partner must not give a, uh, must give a public notice of his retirement from the firm in order to free himself from liability. So whenever the active partner is going to retire from the business of partnership, so he should give notice and the people should come to know about his retirement. And uh, after his retirement, he is not going to be considered liable for the business. Uh, the second one is sleeping partner, a one who doesn't take an active part in the management uh, or the activity of, is of the firm is called sleeping or dormant your resting partner. Such, na, such partner brings only capital in the business. In our partner case, it is capital ya sarmaya ra case the business investment kena ko aslan the karhai business the mudiriyatu management business case role fall nadara. He is also liable to the creditor of the firm like other partners. He is not required to give notice to general public about his retirement from his firm. Zamane ki e ba karhai mudiriyati idara masuliyat nadara. The unja kias kodam responsibility nadara. As in ami khatara zamane ki itar partner retire mesha. ای ضرورت نیست کہ ریٹائرمنٹ خدا کیا سورا اعلان کنا با مردم چرا کہ ای دا مینجمنٹ ادارہ کیا اس کلام سہم فعال ندارا دیکھا از خاطر ضرورت نیست کہ مردم آگاہی بتا دا مورد ریٹائرمنٹ ترور ون دیٹس نومنل پارٹنر سو وی کن سی دیٹ دوز پارٹنرز ہو ار آنلی پارٹنرز بائی نیم یعنی عبارت ازو پارٹنر میں باشا کتنا با نیم پارٹنر میں باشا بعض بزنس آستن کے وہ آج سیلیبریٹی آئے کی بسیار مشہور آستن نام آئے وارا استفادہ میں کنا دا بزنس دیگا ان آو پارنر کیس یا دا مینجمنٹ ایشوز ہم کدام کار نہ دارا و یا کیس کدام پروفیٹ و لاس تا ہم بدست نہ میارا یا تنا مشہور میں باشا و بزنس آس میں خواہی کہ تنا شہرت وارا بخاطر مفاد بزنس کیس استفادہ کنا و در مقابلش کیس ادارہ بخاطر خدماتی کے وارزہ میں کنا تنا بخاطر او خدماتش کیس یک فیس برشن میتا بازی تر افراد کیس نومنل پارٹنرز کی میں باشا یا در مقابل قانون کیس ہم کدام مسئلیت ندارا فورت ون دیٹس کال سینئر پارٹنر a partner who has more investment in the firm and receive more profit is called senior partners definitely in the partnership whenever there are few partners so you know all of them may not contribute the amount of money same amount of money so maybe you know some partners will contribute more and some less so those those partners who are contributing more money or investing more money and they are receiving or entitling more profits they are considered to be called like the senior partners of the business. He plays a major role in the management of the business due to experience capabilities in other skills. So beside the investment, they carry more experience uh, capabilities and skills to the business, which can help uh, business uh, and also result business uh, in profit. The fifth one that's junior partner. So it's the opposite of senior partner. A junior partner is the opposite of a senior partner. Usually he is young, a man who has recently become a partner of the firm. He has a small investment in the business. So these are uh, the characteristics of junior partner that, you know, they are young. Uh, their investment is less due to small investment and less experience. He receives a small share in the profits in lose. He has no major role in the decision making of the business. We can consider them the junior partners. Number six, the secret partner. So uh, as the name suggests that uh, he is a partner whose uh, membership is kept secret from outsiders. Yani partner hai ke wa makhfi me basha ba ziyat mardam malumat na dara. You have seen, you know, maybe some of your relatives or family members, they have invested money in some businesses and they are partners there, but you do not know. Uh, he takes an active part in management of the firm. He is liable for debts of the firm like other partners. ایہم کیس دا مدیریتی بزنس مسئلیت دورا 
در, در مقابل قانون هم لایبیلیتی داره خودنا از مردم مخفی می باشه سیوان وانی از ماینر پارتنر ا ماینر از ا پرسن هو هز نات کمپلیتیت 18 ایرز اور هو هز نات اٹیند یو نو 18 ایرز اور هو هز نات ریچ تو ہز لیگل ایج سو فار سو ہی از کمپیٹنٹ ٹو کانٹریکٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا کانٹریکٹ لا دا ماینرز یو نو دے کین انٹر انٹو ا کانٹریکٹ بٹ ود دا کنسنٹ آف آل پارٹنرس ہی می بی ایڈمیٹڈ ٹو دا بینیفٹس آف پارٹنرشپ بائی این ایگریمنٹ ود ہز گارڈین So the next topic which we're going to explain it that's the formation of partnership so whenever the partners they're coming uh, together in entering into a uh, contract of partnership and they want to form a, uh, a partnership business so there are some of the characteristics in uh, some of the issues which should be taken into account uh, there must be you no know, agreement among the partners to form a partnership uh, and also some of the other points which are very much important to be considered number one Uh, the partners of a firm should be selected with care so uh, whenever you know you're selecting people uh, there are some qualities uh, which uh, should be kept in mind like they should be sound people uh, they should not be bankrupt uh, they should not have you know any crime uh, and they shouldn't be involved in any, in, in any crime uh, the second one that you know the object of the firm should be lawful so as we know that each business uh, they may offer like you know product or services So the product and services which your business is going to offer to the people, so it should not be uh, illegal. It should not be, you know, uh, those type of product or services which can hurt uh, people or which is against the law of the country. Third, uh, the rights and duties of the partner must be discussed in details in, in written form. Uh, as we said before, that there are, you know, different types of partners and they have, you know, different responsibilities and liabilities uh, in terms of their partnership. rights so while you know you're selecting the partners uh, for the business their responsibilities and liabilities uh, should be mentioned but it should be in written form uh, we said before that the partnership contract can also be in oral form but it's better that we should place everything in writing uh, because you know writing will help you uh, to enforce uh, all those rules and regulations you know at law fourth that's you know the partnership should be registered uh without you know having a proof or without having you know a registered uh you know contract or agreement uh, it's not feasible and also it's not allowed uh, you know for the people to open a business and to have a partnership so everything should be based on law and everything should be in relation and also in line with law so uh there is a you know like a process uh, whenever the people they are just you know opening a partnership business so they have to just you know uh like like follow a process and they follow some steps in order to establish a partnership type of business uh there is you know one of the important element which should be considered in partnership type of business that's partnership deed the partnership agreement is written uh is called partnership deed so whenever uh, the partners Uh, they write you know agreements and they enter into a contract so that's called the partnership deed and it's better to have you know written agreement uh, as i said before in these agreements you know they should show the responsibilities of all uh, partners around the business and around the partnership uh, so some of the other elements which are included in the partnership deed that's you know the name of the firm uh, as we said before that the name of the firm should be legal Uh, and there are some other characteristics, you know, while we're selecting the name of the business, like it should be easy, it should be attractive, uh, it should be meaningful, and it should be legal. The name and address of all partners, uh, those who are in the business and those who are partners, so their names and their addresses should be written. The nature of the business of the firm, so whether it's, you know, like manufacturing, it's like trading, so you are offering what type of services or products, so it should be specified. the town and place where the business will be carried on so the special location of the business should be mentioned in the partnership deed uh, that's uh, you know fifth uh, the amount of capital invested by each partner ye baad hum woh se shawa ke har partner ch qadar miqdar pul kya sura sarmaye guzari kar la chalo ke baas se zuna mu baas har partner loss to profit kya sura baad se mera द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप यम बी सर जरूरी के पार्टनरशिप तो चकदर मदत में बोशा इबायत जाहिर शवा 
द रेशो ऑफ शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट्स एंड लॉसेस डिपेंड मेक ना सर कैपिटल के कैपिटल चकदर इन्वेस्ट था बॉसा सो जुना मूव रेशो केस प्रॉफिट वो लॉस तब नहीं पार्टनर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूट में शा द अमाउंट अ पार्टनर कैन विद्रॉ फ्रॉम द फर्म बाजू वाकई हमें कौन दा रहा कि बाजू पार्टनर्स केस आज आज बिजनेस पैसा में का शा वही बात स्पेसिफाइड शो कि पार्टनर तक उदाम अंदाजा हक दा रहा कि आज बिजनेस पैसा रहा विद्रॉ करना द सरकमस्टेंसेस अंडर व्हिच अ फर्म शेल डिस्क्लोज और डिसॉल्व और अ फर्म में फिनिश और टर्मिनेट देगा इमोजोड बाय दोनों जो वाजे शवा द राइट्स ड्यूटीज एंड लाइबिलिटीज ऑफ द पार्टनर्स मौजूद भी सर असासीस कि की बाय द मैनेजमेंट बाशा की बाय फलत हाउ एक्टिविटी रा पेश बबरा वो मसलत हाई आर कस केस बाय द मालूम शवा द पीरियड ऑफ अकाउंटिंग ईयर इबायत मालूम बाशा सो दिस आर यू नो सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स व्हिच शुड बी इंक्लूडेड इन द एग्रीमेंट डीड ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप लेट्स डिस्कस नेक्स्ट द टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप द फर्स्ट वन दैट्स नो पार्टनरशिप एट वेल पार्टनरशिप एट वेल बाय मोनास्तन के जमाने की इन आवर पार्टनरशिप ईजाद में शाह द बाई ने पार्टनर कैस ड्यूरेशन ए पार्टनरशिप बरजू कदम टाइम दादा ना मेशा यानी ई इजाहिर ना मेशा की पार्टनरशिप तो कदम मुदत में बोशा बस दई वक्त पार्टनर कैस रजायत दौरा हर पार्टनर कि मैं खाया तो कदम वक्त पार्टनरशिप आई दामा बता वो अच्छी वक्त मैं खाया कि पार्टनरशिप आ बपायान बरसाना जमाने की पार्टनरशिप में खाया बपायान बरसाना बाय दिया नोटिस बदेगा पार्टनर से खुद बता खो द कदम वक्त में ताना कि पार्टनरशिप एट वेल कैस ईजाद करता नंबर वन वन अ पार्टनरशिप इज फॉर्म फॉर अनलिमिटेड पीरियड जमाने की पार्टनरशिप बखातर अनलिमिटेड पीरियड बाशा या वक्त महदूद बाशा देखा दो वक्त कैस हम पार्टनरशिप एट वेलस या जमाने की पार्टनरशिप फॉर लिमिटेड पीरियड में बाशा एन वह बद अजी कैस अमूल लिमिटेड की पूरा में शा बद अजू पार्टनरशिप एक्सपायर में शा लेकिन बाजा पार्टनरशिप इदाम दौरा दई वक्त कैस एक नफर हक तौर एक पार्टनर हक तौर कैस पार्टनरशिप खुदा वह ड्रॉ करना वह पार्टनरशिप खत्म करना बपायान बरसाना वन अ पार्टनरशिप फॉरम इज फॉर्म फॉर पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट इट कंटिन्यूज आफ्टर द कम्पलीशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट बाज वक्त पार्टनरशिप के बखतर एक प्रोजा में बोशा जमाने की प्रोजा खत्म में शा पार्टनरशिप का बाजा में दामा दर्शा बोशा देखा मेम्बर्स या पार्टनर्स हक तौर की पार्टनरशिप का बपायान बरसाना वह अगर यह रजायत खुद इंसान में था कि पूरा इदामा में था दे कन यानी तमाम चीज़ों के बरजायत एक दिगा में बोशा सेकेंड वन इज पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप कस्म का नाम ज़ाहिर में शाह एक पार्टनरशिप खास के बखातर हदफ खास ईजाद में शाह व जमाने के वह हदफ बरा में शाह पार्टनरशिप के हम डिसॉल्व में शाह व यह इस तरह के बखातर एक मदत खास इन व पार्टनरशिप ईजाद में शाह दबाने पार्टनर्स जमाने के वो मदत पूरा में शाह सो राइट आफ्टर द कम्पलीशन ऑफ दैट टाइम द पार्टनरशिप इज़ गोइंग टू बी डिसॉल्व इन द पार्टनर्स हैव द राइट टू टर्मिनेट द पार्टनरशिप द थर्ड वन दैट्स नो लिमिटेड पार्टनरशिप Uh, a partnership uh, is regulated in control by uh, Partnership Act uh, 1907 of England. The following are some of the features of limited partnership. Uh, number one, it's formed under Limited Partnership Act. Ye ke ko actish malumas ke 1907 me baasha baasha se zini act kya sa mamita nim ke limited partnership kya sa ira ijat kunim. Second, uh, some partners may be with limited liabilities. कस्म को मगुफ तुम के द पार्टनरशिप लाइबिलिटीज पार्टनर कैस उन नज़र पर इन्वेस्टमेंट शान में बोशा वो बाजी वक्त ईस के द पार्टनरशिप डीड बरसान इन मशाखस में करना कि की चक्कर लाइबिलिटी दौरा नेक्स्ट वन दैट्स यू नो देर इज़ एट लीस्ट वन पार्टनर विद अनलिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी खो जमाने के बहुत से पार्टनर्स लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी दौरा देखा ये मालूम है कि बाद एक पार्टनर कैस वो अनलिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी दर्शा बोशा दर मुकाबले बिजनेस हुआ कानून A limited partner cannot take active part in the management of the firm. Partner ki o amra limited liability liability bosha. Dega bos un na metana ki yek active partner shawa wada tamami karhai mudiriyati idara saham bigira. O metana ki sleeping partner bosha yani the karhai mudiriyati idara ke saham faal girifta na metana. The limited partner can inspect the books of the firm at any time. एक हक के लिमिटेड पार्टनर द्वारा उम्मीद है कि तमाम अकाउंट्स हो तमाम प्रोसेस कार कैस रापोर व गुजारिश वारा कैस बीबी नौ उरा मायना करना ही कैन गिव सजेशन इन रिकमेंडेशन टू द पार्टनर्स हो जमाने की स्लीपिंग पार्टनर हम बहुत शाह हुआ एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेशन ना मैं द मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस हो बस हम में तना के बस सजेशन व रिकमेंडेशन फॉर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द बिजनेस प्रोवाइड करना 
A new partner can be admitted to the partnership uh, firm without the consent of the limited partner. Dega the partnership agar kase dega ram me khaya ke misal act kana dainja rzayati limited partner zarur nees rzayati unlimited partner zarurat me bocha. Yani he has the authority. Unlimited partner has the authority to add someone uh, new in the business. It cannot have more than 20 partners in the ordinary type of business. Except banking, it has only 10 partners. So these are some of the characteristics of uh, limited partnership. So uh, now let's come to discuss uh, the dissolution of a firm. It means uh, how a firm can be dissolved or can be terminated. خو یک چیز باید ما یادآور شویم که فرم و پارتنرشپ که ترمینیت میشه یا فس همیشه از بین میره طریقایشان که مختلف هستن The dissolution of a partnership is different from the dissolution of a firm When one partner dies, retires or becomes uh, insolvent The remaining partners continue the business uh, It is called dissolution of the partnership یک پارتنر اگر می میره یا تقاوت میکنه دیگه پارتنرس که هست و اگر بزنس خدا ادامه میتن این رو میگه dissolution of the partnership uh, when the relationship between all the partners come to an end uh, in the business is closed, it's called the solution of a firm. Zamane ke partnership, tamam partners kiyas, wa misal withdraw me kana, ya business kiyas close me sha, then je kiyas dissolution of a firm kiyas surat me gira. It means that the dissolution of firm includes the dissolution of partnership. Partnership ki tamam da baine partners khatam me sha, then je dissolution of the firm surat me gira. So let's uh, discuss grounds of dissolution of a firm. Yani, bakudama saas wa chiwa kias yek firm metan ke as bain bara. A firm may be dissolved on any of the following grounds. Number one, dissolution by agreement. Uh, a firm may be dissolved with the consent of all uh, partners or in accordance with the contract between the partners. Zaman ke da bain partners kias as awal contract shuda bosha or mafika shuda bosha ke baini roz ya baini tarikh ya baad azini kar kias my firm. Uh, then you know we can dissolve uh, the firm second compulsory dissolution compulsory dissolution takes place in the following circumstances uh, number one when all the partners are declared insolvent zamane ke partners kas ya washikistan mesha bankrupt mesha the firm has bain mera when all except one of the partners are declared insolvent zamane ke yag nafarias ya kas u bankrupt mesha yeah, when the business of the firm becomes unlawful, ya ko business itras ke kanun ura gair kanuni elan kana dayu akias firm baat dissolve shawa. Third, contingent conditional dissolution. Subject to contract between the partners, a firm is dissolved on the happening of the following events. Bazi wak meitan ek dega mawarid baasha ya itur situations baasha ke dau ham meitan ek business ya ek firm dissolve shawa. And the expiry of fixed period for which the firm was formed. Agar firm by a dawra khas ijad gardida wa zamane ki u dawra pura me sha metana ki firm as bain baro dissolve shwa. And the completion of the project, ba khater yak project kias yak firm ya yak dawra ijad shida zamane ki u project complete me sha firm haid ab dawra namuak kias baid firm as bain bara. And the death of the partners, zamane ki partners me mira ya on the insolvency of any partner. زمانه که کدام پارنر که هست بینکرپت میشه فورت ون ایس دیسلوشن بای نوٹس وین دی پارنرشپ ایس ات ویل دی فرم می بی دیسولف بای اینی پارنر گیوینگ نوٹس این رائٹنگ فورم تو آل ادر پارنرس بای هیز انتینشن تی دیسولف دی فرم اگر پارنرشپ بای شکل باشه که دا اونجا ویل یعنی رضایت هر کس که هست او شامل است و یکی از پارنرز اگر بخواید که میخواید که فرم که از او دیسولف شوید سو هی شد گیف ای نوٹس تو ادر پارنرز ای نوٹس آف دیسولوشن ونس گیون کن نات بی ویدران ویدار دی کنسنٹ آف ادر پارنرز زمانه که شما میخواید که از یک فرم که از او دیسولف کنین و شما نوٹس دادین او نوٹس دوباره گرفتا نمیتانین اگر پارنرز بزنس رضایت نشان بتا دین یو کن دی فرم از دیسولف فرم دی دیت دو نموخ که از فرم از بین میره با شما با کدام روز که شما نوٹس ها ایشو کردین If no date is mentioned, it dissolve from the date of the communication باز وقت اگر شما دا نوٹس تاریخ نوشته نکده باشین 
از اون تاریخی که ای شو شده ای حساب میشه بر شما dissolution by uh, court بعضی وقت محکمه که از و می طرح کی ایک فرم یا 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 ایک شرکت کے اس اورا ڈس سولو کنا یا ڈس سولوشن صورت بھی گرا یا اورا از بین بورا و آپریشنز اس کے اس کلوز شوا دا کورٹ ڈیسائڈز اباؤٹ دا ڈس سولوشن اف فرم اف دیر از ا ڈیفرنس اف اپینین بٹوین پارٹنرز ریگارڈنگ دا ڈس سولوشن فار ایگزامپل ون پارٹنر ہیز بیکم انسین سم اف دا پارٹنرز ار ویلنگ ٹو کنٹینیو وائل ادرز ار انسسٹنگ آن دا ڈس سولوشن اف ا فرم خو د باندې ځای تر موضوع پیدا میشه کې شاید یک پارټنر کې اسو کوم مشکل پیدا میکنه او د یو وخت کې اس بعضې پارټنرز می خوایا کې بزنس ادامه بتا او بعضې پارټنرز می خوایا کې بزنس باید ډیسولف شه د یو وخت کورټ میتنه کې ډیسیژن بیګرا د کورټ مې ډیسولف فرم آن اینی ډیسیژن 